Hey, what is going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So we're going to create a HUD element and this is what we'll be creating and I was going to do a quick tutorial on this but I figured that there's a few elements in here that probably need a little bit of attention so uh, that's why I'm going to kind of do with this off script. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. I think it's really cool and it should be fairly quick. So here we are in a new composition and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the ellipse tool and I am going to basically try to draw out a circle from the center here and I'm going to hold down shift and command on a Mac or control or shift on a uh, PC and we're going to draw out a perfect circle kind of like this. I know it's a little bit weird but what we're going to do is we're going to go into our contents here and we're going to go into delete the fill and we're going to the stroke and we'll set this to like a blue color okay and we'll go ahead and decrease the stroke width you know you might have to increase it but uh you know kind of like a very thin sort of stroke like that maybe seven all right so then i'm gonna go to the align tab over here and i'm going to just center this stuff up and then i'm going to go ahead and double click the pan behind tool which will definitely center our anchor point point. and now that we have this outline here what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate it and then we're going to hit s on our keyboard for scale and we're going to decrease the scale by uh, a little bit like that. And then once again, we're gonna go ahead and duplicate our outline once again. And we're gonna call this one maybe a thick, uh, you know, line or something. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up these properties and we'll go into the contents, go into the ellipse, and then we're gonna go ahead and click add and we're gonna add a trim paths. All right, and what we're gonna do is open the trim paths and we're gonna go ahead and maybe increase the start. And then we're gonna go ahead and maybe scale this down a little bit as well, just kind of see what we're doing. And now you see, we duplicate this line, it's kind of thin. So let's go here and let's go ahead and maybe increase the stroke, kind of like that. And then maybe we'll scale it down just a little bit more to kind of get that between our two lines like that. Well, then that's just fine. And then let's go ahead and maybe go back into our trim paths over here. And let's maybe decrease the start by a little bit. So now we kind of just have this nice thin line like this, kind of thick. And what we'll do is we'll go into our rotation here. We'll all click the rotation and we'll type in wiggle. Uh, open, open parenthesis one comma 100, close parenthesis and it kind of looks like that. All right, and now this will kind of animate here between our uh, you know lines here. And then once again, let's go ahead and duplicate the thick line and let's go here and let's you know, go to the rotation and offset it by a little bit like that. And then let's go into the contents, go into the trim paths and maybe increase the start to make it even thinner. So that's something to think about. And then let's go ahead and go to the rectangle tool over here and let's draw out like a very thin sort of rectangle, kind of like that. And let's go ahead and make sure this is centered up before we do anything. So make sure the layer selected and we'll go here and we'll just do the vertical line here. I think that's vertical. And then let's go to the pan behind tool and kind of just center this right in the center of our comp. And that should be just fine. And then let's go ahead and go to the rectangle one here. And we're going to go ahead and click on add. And we're going to add a repeater. And let's open up the repeater properties. And uh, let's go ahead and increase the number of copies to like, you know, 60 or something. Go ahead and open the transform repeater properties. And let's go ahead and set the rotation to like maybe like six or so. And then let's go to the position and hit zero or for X position. And now we kind of have this nicely centered up and then let's go see let's go maybe increase the number of copies to kind of complete that and that looks pretty cool I think and then maybe what we can do to adjust this further we can go with the rectangle path here maybe break the link and make it a little bit skinnier kind of maybe like that or so all right and then to animate this what we'll do is hit R on our keyboard for rotation and we'll go to the beginning here click the stopwatch to add a keyframe maybe go to like seven seconds or something and we'll go here and type in like four on four X. So now I'll rotate 360 degrees four times in the next seven seconds. Looking good, let's go ahead and duplicate our lines here. And let's go ahead and hit S on the keyboard to bring up scale. And let's go ahead and bring this down by a little bit. And then let's go ahead and open up our properties here, go into the contents, go into rectangle one, go to the rectangle path. And let's kind of go ahead and adjust this to where like these will be like uh, thicker rectangles kind of like this. Then maybe what we can do is go into the repeater one, go into the transform repeater one, and maybe increase the rotation by a little bit. And maybe the number of copies down just by a little bit. And then maybe just adjust it enough to look good like that. And, you know, with a few tweaks of settings, we're able to kind of get this going just like this. It looks pretty cool. And then maybe what we can do now is we can go to our outline two here, duplicate it, you bring it to the top, we'll scale it down. 
to like right here. Maybe we'll change the color of it to maybe white or something. You know, and then once again, maybe we'll just duplicate it again, scale it down by a little bit. Maybe this time we'll increase the stroke just by a little bit. And then let's change the color of it, you know, maybe to like, you know, red or something that kind of stands out. And I'll use my low color. Maybe I'll just make it a little bit thicker. Maybe it goes like 29 or something. And then let's go ahead and go to the thick line here. Just duplicate that. I'll bring that to the top. And let's go ahead and scale this down. Kind of like that or something. And let's go ahead and open these properties, go into the contents and go to the trim paths and let's go ahead and decrease the start to where it's like very thick, kind of like this. And maybe, you know, we'll change the color to, you know, the same color that we have in the middle here and maybe not make it as thick, maybe lower the thickness of this a little bit thinner than our center here. And then, you know, we should have some nice rotation going on with it as well. So then we basically have our full animation of our um, HUD here. So what we can do is um, maybe just add some more detail to this design wise. Maybe what we can do is go to the, like the um, the pen tool and you know right in this you know right here through the center kind of click a point go down to the bottom here hold down shift and click a straight point like this and then maybe we'll just move it over to where this is like just centered in the middle of our comp. So we have a straight line here and uh, let's go ahead and um, maybe turn the stroke to our blue color here and maybe make it like very thin, maybe like three pixels or something. So now we kind of have this here. And uh, let's go ahead and open up these properties, go into the contents, go to shape one, and go ahead and add a repeater. Okay. And we'll basically do the same thing like we did before. We'll go in here to the repeat, transform repeater position, uh, you know, transform properties. Go ahead and set the X position to zero. And let's go ahead here to the rotation and let's kind of increase that. Maybe we'll go ahead and increase the number of copies to like five, maybe six, I don't know. But we'll kind of just play the rotation enough to where we kind of have this evenly uh, spread out, kind of like this, 45 degrees. And it looks pretty cool. And then what we'll do is we'll go to shape layer one here. We'll hit T on our keyboard for opacity and we'll set this down to like maybe 20%. And let's go ahead and put it underneath all of our elements. And maybe we'll go ahead and maybe set it to 30%. So now we have just a little bit of design. And then what else we can do is maybe uh, take both of these outlines right here, the outlines right here, and we'll duplicate them, put them underneath our comp, and we'll go ahead and scale these down as well. And we'll go ahead and change the opacity of this to 30. You know, it looks pretty cool. And then um, if we want to add maybe just one more element to this awesome thing, is maybe what we can do is like go ahead and maybe duplicate one of our uh, thick lines and, uh, you know, go ahead and go into the contents go into the uh, stroke and let's go ahead and increase the stroke by a little bit and we'll go ahead and just really increase the stroke maybe like that or something to the center here and uh, what we'll do is maybe lower the opacity on this to like also 30 percent or something and then we'll just kind of have this extra element kind of off center here kind of rotating but it looks pretty cool and and to put the final touches on this to kind of make this stand out as a HUD element what we'll do is go to layer new adjustment layer and then we'll go up to Effect, Stylize, Glow. And then maybe we'll go to the Glow Threshold and we'll set this to maybe 34%. And then maybe go to the Glow Radius, maybe set this to 29 So now that we have this very nice glow to our HUD element. And after a quick render, this is what we have. And just to let you guys know, I will definitely be doing a more in-depth video on HUD graphics coming up in our next video. But in the meantime, if you have any questions, please drop a comment down below or hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button for more tutorials just like this in After Effects. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like because it helps me out tremendously. And guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully I'll see you soon.